All right, welcome back, guys. So if you have been farming the Orbiter Finance airdrop, which I have been doing on a few different wallets for at least six, seven months, I would say, they usually have these side quests over here where they run incentives to bridge to a certain chain a certain amount of times, and you know they stack up your points over here and they all go toward your airdrop. By the way, if you have not grabbed your Orb Guy meme coin, I've already claimed mine. I don't think this is ever going to be worth any kind of money. Money, but it may be some kind of a multiplier. Just pay for the gas. So you might as well come and do that. So they have backed a game, 0x Astra, backed by Orbiter Finance. The bridge behind this is going to be Orbiter. You basically get a two for one. You'll be farming 0x Astra points and Orbiter.finance points as well. So you can see they've got a really cool website here. Into the new era of cross chain gaming, dive into the cyberpunk future of 0x Astra, where you harness cross cross-chain resources with Orbiter Finance technology to build and defend your cosmic homeland, strategize, expand, dominate this interstellar conquest. Looks like they're going to continue to add to this game. Orbiter has quite a few chains that it can bridge to and from. They've turned those chains into planets. Each planet has different minerals that you would be working toward collecting each time that you bridge from and to a different chain. So here's Linea. Linea's got core oil, golden wood, linium, and astra silver. So the idea is the same. You would bridge from a chain and you bridge to a chain and then you get the points. So right now I have Cosmic Dust and I have Polar Ice as well. And I've only done a couple of bridges on this game. However, I have been farming the Orbiter Finance airdrop for quite some time and I had some retroactive points. So if you have been bridging on Orbiter Finance, you're going to come here and claim your retroactive points automatically. And also just like Orbiter Finance, so off to the side here, they have different incentives that you can kind of work toward and different tasks and different quests. I just claim this guy. Complete five explorations. Pink day. Explore Tycho six times. I would probably never explore Tycho six times, by the way. What they did with their airdrop, leading everybody to a lot of different galaxy quests, guys, like gaming and um, NFTs and this and that. You're collecting all this stuff. And also it was on like two or three different test nets. Only the top 300,000 wallets got anything. There were a lot of people who were really upset and and, and then they came out afterwards and their comment was that the galaxy quests were always for fun. So anyway, that's my rant for the day on Tycho, but I will probably never explore Tycho six times. So that is the gist of it. Okay, we are early, we're in season one. Orbiter decided to now launch their own layer two. So the Orbiter airdrop could end up being substantial. Not financial advice, I'm just telling you guys what I am doing. Oh, you come here, you pick the chain that you want to bridge from, and then you click the chain that you want to bridge too. So all of the chains that Orbiter Finance offers aren't yet integrated here. Probably at some point will be if Orbiter's backing this project. Orbiter's got quite a big list of chains that they can bridge to. From now on, when I do make a bridge and use Orbiter Finance to just to kind of keep the points going, I'm going to be doing it through here. So their X account has 6,400 followers, which is a good thing. It means that we are early. All right, and that's all I got, guys. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thank you